cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. Oh, it shouts. I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. That's for sure. Do you have yeah, pirate stories. I'm listening for some good ones. Pirate stories. Got any? Okay, here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the raging tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Fifth sense? Yeah, don't you mean sixth sense? Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the obvious one. Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. Weird. But his other senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles, until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. And we're broke. You find anything? Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years, and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bed? That's what I was calling to. Exactly. How did you know that? I just had a feeling. That wasn't that great. Okay. Uh, oh, he's eating something? Oh, he is eating something. What are you eating? Say, hey, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. Okay. I, I guess we're done here. We could repeat it, but it's no. It's been a pleasure. Bye. He's not as, he's not as fun as this guy. Edward Van Helgen. That guy is awesome. Uh, let's talk to Captain Rottingham. Not like the sheriff, but... He is a full-on captain. Yes, ahoy! Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I see. And I don't care. Oh. But, but, but I'm a mighty pirate. I'm a mighty pirate. Ha! What? What do you mean, ha? I mean just what I said. Ha! If you're a mighty pirate, then I'm bold. That wouldn't surprise me if that was a wig. I'm mighty enough to defeat LeChuck twice. LeChuck? Ha! Even if he's dead, there's just no excuse for that hair. Really? So, yeah, you're a captain? So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've never heard of Captain Ronnie Rothingham. I've never heard of Captain I'm Rock. only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to sail the Caribbean. Do you sail? Ever? Do you ever get out of the chair? You want to join? Well, how'd you like to join my crew? Me? Serve on your crew? Please don't make me break into hysterical laughter while this buffoon is working on my hair. And he doesn't even react. <laughs> Damn French. Okay, yeah, why not? Why don't you want to join my crew? I serve under no man. Oh, boy. Now, just one second. If there's any treasure to be found, I'm going to be the man to find it. Not and I look absolutely stunning while I'm doing it. Right, of course. Yeah, I didn't want you on a crew anyway. Well, I didn't want you on my crew anyway. I'm taking my ball That's going home. That's your loss. And boy, lose the ponytail. It's so last year. What about beards? Are beards back in yet? You're starting to go gray. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. Uh, don't get me wrong. Gray hair suits you. It doesn't. I mean, of course it would. Uh, but uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. In the past. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. Just a little full of yourself, aren't you? You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. Bald? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. You 
seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world, twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. I want to know who's rubbing it in. Your petty and insults mean nothing to me. You sure about that? They're doing great things with dandruff shampoo these days. I suggest you leave, boy. How before you force me to defend my honor. How, how much more can I insult him? Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have the situation under control. <laughs> but just in case, Babel, more moisturizer. Really? Wow. Okay, we can keep going with that, but yeah, we're, we're done. I'll come back later. Yeah, we're done with that. Uh, now, can I talk to this guy too? He probably doesn't have much to say, though, I bet. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet. Red. Huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me. Aye, laddie. You'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate way. He has such a thick accent for a pirate that's not pirate. Okay, so we can now, what well, we could from the very beginning, go in here and grab a lice. That is what we originally wanted to do when we came in here, but there were so many stories to be had. And we put the lice on the comb. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin, the scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. Lice? That's a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This Please? calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. Mm, no There's rashes. no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, you'll ruin my hair! Uh, that was a lot of work for lice. Okay, how you doing? Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Don't forget the singing. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. No, oh, he's Scottish. I couldn't, I wasn't sure if he was Scottish or Irish, but, yeah, Scottish, there we go. I could use a haircut, that is, Haggis, that's, yes, that, that is an unusual name. Haggis, that's an unusual name. I suppose it is. But Haggis is just a nickname. A given name is heart, liver, and kidneys boiled in the stomach of the animal <laughs> McMutton. Oh, so your parents were expecting a girl. Yay. Wow. I don't know if I can even top that one, so we're just going to, uh, we're going to sit down in the chair. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Of course. Now, I want to... I'm afraid he might cut my ear off if I get up. Uh, ah, once again, I keep on going for that. Use the handle. Go up a little bit more. Up a little bit more. Ah, keep your hands off that chair handle. Oh, what if I move the paperweight? I can't reach it. I'm too low. Oh, all right, let's go up a little bit. There we go. Now we use the paperweight. Uh-oh. What are you going to do now? Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. And he had a kilt. All right. So what we want to do now is use the handle. Use the handle. And use the handle. I wish there was a faster way to do this. There might be. There we go. He just keeps on going after a while. Now, grab the scissors. The scissors are mine. I don't know how they got up there in the first place. And now he's back. Well, I searched the whole island, and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. You searched the whole island? I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. Sit back down. I want that French braid. Uh, can we talk to him a little bit more? Probably not. Uh, yeah, do you want all my crew? How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. 
but a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Wrist wrestling, Australian rules football, 500 meter bucket full of heavy rocks relay, helping you move, and in your face no holds barred cage match to the death. How about a test of who can hold his breath the longest? How about a test of who can hold his breath the longest? I can go 10 minutes. No. I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility. Cutting each other's heads off? Toss. Oh. I'm not very good at that. It's a weird hazing ritual. I was always picked last. Oh, but in school I was always picked last for caber tossing. Maybe it's because you weren't familiar enough with the sport. You I'm see, the caber is a large tree trunk. I don't know how they do the this. Field of competition, each of us heaves the cable as far as he can. And then it rolls. The man whose cable goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. And I watch cable television. Oh, that's uh, but worse now. Argue with tradition. Uh, let's do it. Sounds great. Let's do it. Come on, Guybrush, you got this. Nicely done. I would never follow such a weak captain. So much for that, then. I didn't know you could actually do that. So, uh, what yeah. is that blue stuff in the jar, anyway? Now, what's the barbicide? Ah, the old comb juice. Tis a fiery brew that's bested many a sailor with her fermented froth. It'll burn your throat unless you chase it with conditioner. That sounds terrible. Uh, okay, yeah, we're done. Never mind. We're, we're done. That guy is awesome at caper tossing. I am not so good. Uh, what I want to do now is use the glove. And I need to offend Edward Van Helgen. Now there's a challenge. Damn right to it the is. Field of honor. We're not gonna do more caber tossing, Choose are we? Use your weapon. Oh. Pistol. 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 So many choices. I'm gonna go with the one on the left that's barely on screen. I choose you. I, I choose I you. I choose this pistol. Damn right I do. If I beat you, will you join my crew? The odds of you beating me are so astronomical, I will take that. Again, I prove to you I'm the greatest duelist in the world. We weren't even close. 